What's up guys, Darko3 here. Uh, this is more of an important two rant, I don't know when this is going to be going up, but it's currently Saturday and about half past two in the afternoon, and um, there's been, there's meant to have been a smite uh, three times ev everything in quotes event, where you would have been able to get three times the worshippers, three times the favour, and three times the experience, uh, if you're under level 30, for every match you complete. Now... The thing with this one is it's it's four and a half hours late now, and they're still they they've only just sent a message out saying that they're investigating it. Now, sure, things happen. I I understand things that things happen, and there are sometimes things that are well out of your control, and you can't really prepare for them because it's some servers are weird and servers do things that you never expect. But the, the subreddit and Twitter at the moment is full of people. I'm I'm one of them. I'm not going to deny it that are slightly annoyed that the event hasn't started properly. There are people defending them. Fine, you're defending them, but you're saying that typically they'll say it starts at this point, but really it starts eight hours later. That's not much of a defense, because if it always starts eight hours late, you may as well just set the event to start eight hours late and start preparing it the time it's supposed to be up. You know, then you've got it out the time it's meant to be there. Australia's pissed off because they've missed out the entirety of the event on the first day. It would have started at 8pm for them, and a lot of people have just currently going to bed because it's nearly fucking midnight. EU has lost half a day's worth of it, but US is still relatively okay because it's the US and they're five hours at least behind everyone else, so there's no issue there. But the event starting on Saturday morning, morning and finishing on a Tuesday morning, US time means essentially that with this delay, everyone who works in EU don't have Monday, don't have the, most of the Tuesday, which we would have. People like me who've got a limited amount of time to play can't play, or can can play but can't get the triple worshippers, which means we've been shafted out of a load of it. I only really have today and a chunk of tomorrow, not, not a large amount. And I, I, I get why people are annoyed, like... But, the, the thing here is time and time again we have found companies have had something go wrong and instead of telling people, like, if they had said at 5 o'clock, 5am uh, EST, which is like 10am GMT, if they had said, sent a message out saying, There's something, something's not quite right here guys, um, the event's going to be delayed ever so slightly, we'll keep you posted. I think there would have been a lot less of a shit show than what's happened. Because it's taken them four and a half hours to get a communication out. Four and a half hours of people wondering what the hell is going on. That's a that's like, when your player base is sitting there going, what's going on? I'm trying to, I want to take part in this event, but the event's not started, why not? And no one in the company has said a word. Not a person, but but high-profile members in the community are sitting there going, "What the hell?" You you know that shit's starting to go down, and you don't take four and a half hours to tell people shit. We we've seen this happen loads of times before, and in some cases, it's killed games on release because no one can play, and the people, the community managers and stuff, aren't telling anyone anything, and people give up and they leave. It happens with MMOs, people, you know, an MMO comes out, it has huge issues, people get fed up and they don't bother anymore. So, but, you know, high people have been pissed off at high res, people have been pissed off at Hello Games for No Man's Sky. I got pissed off with Devs of, De Devs of Defiance. I've been recently pissed off with Amazon because they, sh they dicked me around for a week, and didn't tell me shit, and I ended up getting my copy from my copy of Last Guardian from game because Amazon screwed me around. I, I get communication issues happen, but you can't not you can't leave your player base and your customers in the dark. It doesn't work. It's not a good way forward, and it pisses a lot of people off. So, and the, the stupid thing as well, the, stu the stupidest thing about this this smite thing is the three times worshipper event was was brought in. Because the Saturnalia event that was meant to happen this week couldn't happen because of a bug. So they brought this one in as a replacement to placate the community. And then they fucked that one up. And then there was the gem sale a couple weeks back for Black Friday. 
which finished a day earlier than they said it would. And then there's the launches of patches which start late. Because, I don't know, does hi know what a fucking clock and a calendar are? A calendar will tell you what day it will tell you what's coming up in the day. And you've got a thing on your computer which shows you what fucking day it is. A clock tells you the time. I suggest you get both of them or get it to the people who actually roll this shit out because this is getting ridiculous now. You're actually, if, you're, if you're shutting things down a day earlier than you said, what? Why? Why are you doing that? If you don't know what day you're finishing it, don't tell anyone. The number of times we've had people in, for people who work for high res, pom and stuff like that, in the Smite subreddit going, Oh, don't worry, guys. It was just a communication issue. We're going to make sure and we'll put everything in place for, in the future to make sure it doesn't happen. And then it happens. And then it happens. And then it keeps happening. Like, I don't know what conversations you're having. They're obviously not working. Sort the shit out. It's getting ridiculous. And then, here's one more thing. And this is a warning to everyone. Don't make an unannounced price increase of an item and then expect no one to notice. So the Odyssey um the Odyssey chest, which was two hundred gems and you had a you had a chance that it's like three hundred and seventy items in the chest. And you can get like six hundred gem skins, four hundred gem skins, three hundred gem ward skins, two hundred and fifty gem skins um, boosters, avatars, 100 gem things. There's a lot you can get in there. And 200 gems, oh, I'm not keen on 100 gem things and, and avatars in a 200 gem chest, but some some people are okay with it. But a majority of the stuff in that chest is actually equal to or more than the value you're putting in. So 200 gems, you get voice packs which are 200 gems, you get skins which are all above 250 gems for the premium skins but upping the price to 400 gems like 400 gems I, I am I if if you are willing to put in for a, for a thing the reason chests are at, uh, work to an extent is that you're putting money in where you're getting a higher value I item out however it's a random item you don't know what you're gonna get but if the items in there are mostly lower value than the money you're putting in, for the randomized nature, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. And because there are avatars in there, and the avatars are all worth like 50 gems, why in the name of fuck would I pay 400 gems for something that's worth one eighth of that? Why would I pay 400 gems and get a chance of a 50 gem item? If I was getting 8 50 gem items for that 400 gems, fine. If I was getting the 50 gem items and like a 10 day booster, possibly I'd be a little bit more okay with it. But 400 gems for a 50 gem item? No, fuck off. No, no. You, no. Do not do that. Jesus Christ. I know one of my one of the rants I've got scheduled to come up in the future at some point is my dislike of randomized real money transactions, like my dislike of chests and stuff. I get that they they're an okay system if they're done well, like if you're able to earn the earn the chests and stuff, and they don't really do anything other than make you look better, which is the case of Smite and Overwatch. Overwatch, I I'm okay with because you can earn those those chests. Eat all of the chests that you can get in Overwatch, you can earn in Smite, you can. Um, you have a chance of getting them through events, some events, but in the grand scheme, you can't, you can't earn them. But high res, you you need you need to fix your shit. You you really need to to realize that things like this sit in a community. I know I left Smite for like eleven months and started playing again. But shit like this reminds me of why I gave it up in the first place. It reminds me of why I stopped casting because you, I got shit all for it. And if I, if this this sort of thing is happening in the actual game itself, like if a caster is sitting there doing stuff and getting fed up with it, the players are going to get fed up with it as well. So you got to fix your shit, high res. Fix it. Make sure this doesn't happen in the future. Have some actual discussions and make sure that you sort this out because. 
the the subreddit sent anything to go by, people are getting more and more pissed off of it, and it could cost you in the long run. I'm curious to see what season four is gonna do. Like, if season four makes or breaks it, because I I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know the international stuff for Smite is kind of dwindling now. So there you go. Uh, if you if you have any thoughts and opinions on everything that I've just discussed in this video, do please please leave a comment down below. Uh, like and favorite this video. I'll, I'll share this video because of the new algorithm. It's nice to get more people to, to interact. If you are new to this channel, also please do click that subscribe button if you like what you see. There is more than just rant videos on this channel, I swear, but that's all I've been doing recently. I do have highlight videos and stuff in the works, but also go check out my stream. Uh, I stream on Beam at the moment, Beam Pro. Um, links are down below in my description. Go check it out. I'm also Dark Guy Free there. And on Twitter and everything else, Dark Guy Free. So, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, you enjoyed, guys. Have a very good evening, morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you may be. And I will see you all in a bit. Bye, guys.